subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here hope you are doing well in this video i'm going to show you how you can install windows 11 on virtual box so let's begin the tutorial here i am on my windows pc so i'm going to show you all the steps that are required so if you want to skip to any other part the timestamps will be in the video description so you can go to the part that you want so first of all we're going to require a total of four things to be downloaded so i'm going to open my browser the first thing is that we need to have virtual box itself so this is just a software that runs your operating systems virtually on another operating system like here i am on windows 10 and i can run windows 11 on it virtually so for this i will put the download link in the video description you need to open the first link and here you're going to uh, see this place so if you're using windows like me you're going to go here where it says windows host just press on it and it's going to start the download process so i have already downloaded it i'm not going to download it again once you have downloaded virtual box you're going to swipe down on the same page and here you need to find uh, another thing here it says virtual uh, box the version extension pack so you need to download this extension pack as well you're going to press on all supported platforms and you need to download this thing as well so these are the two things that are required after that you need the actual windows 11 operating system itself so you can get it from microsoft's original website if you have already bought it which i recommend if you're going to download from any other website then there is a chance that the ios file or the windows operating system might have any malware but since we're going to run it on a virtual machine and so i'm not really worried about that but if you want the most legit just buy it from microsoft's official website anyways the site where i have downloaded is this one i will put this website link in the video description as well so you're going to have windows 11 pro all you need to do is to swipe down and here it's going to say download 64 bit so you're just simply going to press on this button it's going to go to another page and the download will start automatically so i have downloaded this file as well which is around i would say 5 gb so it will take some time to download depending on your internet speed the last thing is that you are going to open on the videos link description is this so this is basically a code so that you can resize the picture or your display size of the virtual machine so all you need to do is to press on this download button and you can download this text file as well so i will tell you why this text file is necessary so all these are all the four things that are required which you need to download first okay once you have downloaded here in my case you can see i have all the four things virtual box the extension pack the windows 11 iso file and the code itself so the first thing that we're going to do is that we need to install virtual box right click on virtual box and run it as an administrator this is important we're going to press on yes and now we're going to install virtual box we're going to press on next again next and if i just go back here you can see the default location is c program files oracle virtual box uh, you can change the default location as well but i really don't recommend because this may cause errors in your virtual machine so i just uh, set it to the default location and also my c drive has an ssg so in this way your virtual machine will run really faster if you install virtual box on an ssg as compared to a hard disk if you have one anyways we're going to press on next from here next and we're going to press on yes install and now it's going to install virtual box which is going not going to take very much time okay virtual box installation is complete start oracle virtual machine so we're going to uncheck this box we're going to press on finish here you're going to have your virtual extension pack or oracle virtual box extension pack right click on it and press on open so it's going to open virtual box by itself here you're going to have a little box you are about to install a virtual box extension pack we're going to press on install so just swipe down and press on i agree so yes again uh, this is necessary because it's going to allow you to have multiple options on your usb and other things we're going to press on okay so we have successfully installed virtual box with the extension pack 
so now we need to do is to make our virtual machine for windows 11 we're going to press on new it's going to show you some interface like this if you see on the bottom it says expert mode just press on it and now you're going to have much more options so you can give your virtual machine a name i'm just going to give the name windows 11 with the w capital you can give any name the machine folder is c users again the default location which i recommend and my c drive also has the ssg so the virtual machine will run faster you're going to select the type which is microsoft windows and since we're installing windows 11 you can select from here if you're installing any other windows virtually you can select that as well but our is windows 11 64 bit right here after that you need to set how much ram you want to give to your virtual machine so basically i just give half of my system ram to the virtual machine so i have 16 gb in total i'm going to give 8 gb to my virtual machine and 8 gb to my system it's totally up to you how much ram you want to give to your virtual machine after that we're going to select the option create a virtual hard disk now we're going to press on create and here is the default location which you don't want to change but the important thing is that you want to select that how much space you want to allocate to your virtual machine like here it says 80 gb so your virtual machine will have a total of 80 gb of storage which it is going to take from your original laptop ssd or hard disk in my case 80 gb from the c drive so just for better performance or storage i'm just going to give it to 160 gb of uh, around 160 gb i would say 165 gb of virtual storage if i show you my c drive you can see that it has 212 gb of free so even if i give it 160 gb uh, 160 gb it's not going to matter a lot so make sure that you have enough space before allotting the space we're going to press on create so you can see it has been created so what we're going to do is that make sure that your virtual machine is selected we're going to press on settings first of all we got general so here it's going to show all the things which ain't very much necessary but the main thing is here in advanced is drag and drop so here you can see it says host to guest guest to host bi-directional so meaning that whether you want your files to drag and drop onto your virtual machine directly or from your virtual machine to your main machine so you can select these options as well from one way or you can select on two way for now i'm just going to select it from host to guest uh, so that we can transfer files from my pc to the virtual machine after that we can going to go to system we don't need any floppy disk optical uncheck it hard disk should be enabled and here for chipset it is piex3 so uh, nothing too much from here we're going to go to processors again i have total of eight cpus so i'm going to allot four cpus to my virtual machine it is up to you again on acceleration it is on default we're going to go to display and we're just going to make sure that our video memory is to the max which is 128 mb the graphic controller is vbox svga remote display and recording we don't have to do anything here you need to go to storage and here where it is important so here you're going to have this little disk icon where it says add optical drive just press on this disk icon it's going to show another thing so this is the place where you're actually going to give the setup for your windows 11 which you have downloaded the windows 11 iso file we're going to press on add again and in my case if i go to my desktop uh, here on downloads here is the windows 11 iso file which i have downloaded we're going to press on open we're going to select it we're going to press on choose and it's going to show it here as you can see which is on the list and after that here it's going to show you your audio your network your serial ports your usb ports so it is on usb 3.0 because of the extension pack if you have any shared folder you can do so and not that very much from here so we're just simply going to press on ok so all the settings have been done so now we're going to select our virtual machine and we're going to press on start to install windows 11 over on our virtual machine so you can see here it's going to open and here if you can see we got saying 
press escape key in three seconds to skip so what you need to do is I'm showing it on purpose that if it happens to you then it won't install Windows 11 so the thing is that when you're going to launch virtual machine or your virtual Windows 11 virtual machine for the very first time you need to press the escape key after that it is not necessary so I'm just going to close the virtual machine make sure power of the machine is selected press on OK so now I'm going to rerun the Windows 11 virtual machine and now when I'm going to see the countdown on the black screen I'm going to press on the escape key right here as you can see and after that we should be easily able to install Windows 11 and here you can see we can go on full screen mode so that's the reason why we need that code file which I'm going to show you once we install Windows 11 so we're just going to wait until the installation is complete here it is language to install english etc etc we're going to press on next accept the agreement you can partition again you can see the virtual hard disk which we made was 165 gb so it is showing right here if you want to partition it you can do so but for now i'm just going to set it as it is we're going to press on next and now it's just simply going to install windows 11. So here you can see Windows 11 has been installed successfully on my PC on VirtualBox as you can see right here but the only problem that we are facing is that when we maximize the screen the actual Windows display isn't maximizing at all. So the fix for that is very simple just close your machine power of the machine make sure is selected for this particular case. Uh, first of all we are going to go to our downloads and here you are going to have this code so here you're going to have a set of resolutions that are pro, uh, supported you can go 720 1080 and so on and you can select any uh, other re resolution as well so my display supports 1920 by 1080 which is this option so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy this particular option copy it here on the top it says x i'm going to remove x and i'm going to paste that resolution right here so this is the max resolution that my laptop supports your may be different so just select any resolution that uh, fits your needs after that here it says your virtual machine name so here you need to enter your virtual machine name if you go and open virtual box again here you can see my virtual machine name is windows 11 with the w capital so in your case whatever name you have set it just write it here in the inverted commas so i'm going to drive windows 11 after that uh, just make sure that you close virtual box or any other virtual machine that you have opened we're going to go on the search bar we're going to type cmd right click on it and run it as an administrator again this is important as well so you're going to go on the uh, text file provided copy the first line and this is going to work if you have installed virtual box on the default location as well as the virtual machine right uh, just control v to paste it right here so i think i haven't copied it i'm sorry again right click copy go here control v to paste it we're going to press on enter and you're going to see it's going to go to the virtual box directory again make sure that you have set the virtual machine name correctly as well as your resolution so we're going to copy the second line copy it go here paste it and press on enter if everything works okay it's going to show something like this if you're going to have any error then it's going to show it we're going to press on uh, type exit press on enter to close it we're going to close this again you can save the file if you want to open virtual box again and here now if i run our windows 11 virtual machine it should go on the resolution provided so we're just going to wait and here you can see it has by default gone to full screen here if i go to uh, view full screen mode press on switch and now you can see that virtual box or our windows 11 is now on the max resolution that we have just set so now you can work easily on your virtual machine which is really really cool 
so again it's going to run really faster if you have installed it on an ssd as i have seen in the past hard disks are slow on virtual machines and if you install it on an ssd the speeds are really really i would say better so we're just going to close the these options and here you can see i am running uh, windows 11 on the virtual machine here i got internet because my laptop is connected to the wi-fi and it's going to show you right here so you can do anything you want on your windows 11 machine virtually and if you want to go to the uh, uh, not on full screen just go to the very bottom here these options are going to show up go to view full screen mode and here you can see so guys in this way you can uh, install windows 11 on virtual box if you guys like this video like share subscribe if you have any questions write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so again all the download links uh, that i talked about will be in the video description just below the like button so guys that's all for this video anyways guys thank you for watching and stay safe